Let's take a look at how to score a PSAT. Let's say you've taken a practice PSAT test, which you can get, by the way, from your guidance office or from college counseling. They have practice tests. So let's say you've taken a practice PSAT and you want to score it. So you're going to go to the answer page, of course, where they, they give you the, uh, the answers. And you're going to check over your section. So the PSAT has five sections. Um, it's always going to have a reading, a math, a reading, a math, and a writing. Those are the five sections of the PSAT. So you're going to score it. You're going to find out how many you got correct, how many you got wrong, and how many you omitted, how many you skipped. Now, how many you skipped doesn't matter in our addition process here, but it's not a bad idea to make that column just because these three numbers should add up to how many questions there were, just to make sure that you got it right. You didn't make a careless error. So for the reading sections, for the two reading sections, Okay, so let's do reading and reading. You're going to add up how many you got right. Um, so you're going to add up how many you got correct, and you're going to put total correct. Then you're going to add up how many you got wrong. So let's say you got a total of uh, um, 30 correct. Then you're going to add how many you got wrong. So let's say you got, um, say you got 10 wrong. Now, you're going to take that 10, and you're going to divide it by 4. Just do that on your calculator and get a decimal. So 10 over 4 is 2.5. And you're going to take 30, which is the amount correct, minus the amount wrong, which is going to be 27.5. Then just like normal decimals, you round up if it's 0.5 or over, so that's a 28. That 28 is your raw score. You're then going to go into the scale sheet, which the packet is going to give you on the PSAT, and you'll find out your PSAT score in the 28. You can do the same for the math and for the writing. So the math, the two math sections, you're going to add up how many you got correct. Let's say you got uh, 15 and 18. That would be 33 correct. Then you can find out how many you got wrong. Let's say it was 5 and 3. So you got 8 wrong. You're going to divide that 8 by 4 again. It's always by 4. So 8 over 4, this time is 2. You're going to do 33 minus 2. So it's amount correct minus the amount wrong divided by 4 is your raw score. Raw like R-A-W. Your raw score is 21. Now that's not your PSAT score. That's your raw score. You check on the scale sheet, which it gives you in the packet, and you'll find out your math score.